Imagine this, three baby galaxies hurtling through deep space like cosmic toddlers on sugar, crashing into each other in slow motion chaos. And right in the middle of this intergalactic demolition derby, a flaming red monster that NASA scientists are basically calling the universe's biggest drama queen. Meet SDSS J165202.64 plus 172852.3, or as I prefer, the big fiery diva. She's a quasar, but not just any quasar. She's massive, loud, and shining brighter than every single star in her entire galaxy. Honestly, if Beyonce were a space object, this would be her. And this isn't just eye candy. What the Webb Telescope captured here is a literal throwback to the cosmic golden age, the birth of the universe's first big structures. You're basically looking at the cosmic version of ancient ruins, but with lasers. Scientists think this isn't just a pretty smash-up. Oh no, this is a galactic group chat forming in real time, pulled together by invisible puppet masters, aka dark matter halos, that no one fully understands yet. And these aren't just galaxies bumping elbows, they're forming the foundations of the very first galaxy clusters. Let's put that into perspective. The light from this scene started its journey over 11.5 billion years ago, when the universe was still wearing diapers. We're basically watching baby photos of galaxies that are now ancient. Talk about deep space nostalgia. And how do quasars like our diva work? Well, at the heart of every quasar is a black hole so hungry, it makes a vacuum cleaner look lazy. It slurps up gas, dust, and whatever else floats too close, then shoots out so much energy it makes a supernova blush. We're diving headfirst into one of the wildest, most chaotic parties the universe has ever thrown. And the guest of honor? A flaming cosmic monster known as a red quasar. Think of it as the universe's version of a fiery nightclub that's been running nonstop for 11 billion years, loud, crowded, and burning up everything in sight. Now, red quasars might look like something straight out of hell, glowing ominously with what seems like satanic fury, but don't be fooled, this red glow isn't the quasar's actual color, it's just the universe playing tricks with our eyes. As light travels billions of years across the ever-expanding cosmos, it gets stretched out, like cosmic taffy, shifting into the red end of the spectrum. In astronomy, red basically means, wow, that thing is both ancient and ridiculously far away. Take SDSS J165202.64 plus 172852.3. <laughs> yes, the name is one of those where it's like someone leaned on a keyboard. It is one of these puzzling red quasars. For eons, this celestial beast was veiled by heavy curtains of dust and gas, so well hidden that our trusty old telescopes didn't stand a chance of detecting it. But by the remarkable vision of the Webb Telescope, the standout finally gets its due. And boy, does it know how to put on a show. At the heart of this quasar lies a ravenous black hole, inhaling everything around it like it's at an all-you-can-eat buffet. This dramatic feast is called accretion, and it's not just destruction for destruction's sake. As the black hole gorges, it sends out powerful radiation gusts that spark new star formation. That's right, it's killing and creating at the same time. Shakespeare couldn't have written a more dramatic character. <clears throat> but wait, there's more. This glowy red monster isn't partying alone. It sits at the center of a three-galaxy merger, dragging its galactic neighbors into a gravitational group hug that eventually transforms them into one enormous galaxy cluster. This is cosmic architecture in progress, folks. Gravity bending space, pulling strings, and reshaping the universe as we know it. Red quasars like this one are now believed to be the missing link in galaxy evolution, a kind of galactic puberty. They mark the messy, dusty teenage years before a galaxy emerges fully formed and visible. They're also giving astronomers crucial clues about how galaxies and black holes grow up, evolve, and sometimes blow up in the most beautiful, starry way possible. In short, this red quasar is more than just a pretty, hellish face in deep space. It's a cosmic creator and destroyer, a glowing fossil of the early universe, and possibly the key to unlocking the mysteries of how galaxies, and maybe even life, came to be. Picture this. Three galaxies, each with its own wild personality, are swirling around a fiery red quasar like they're at the center of the universe's most intense cosmic mashup. It's not just some random space rave. Thanks to the jaw-dropping precision of the Webb Telescope, we can now actually watch this triple galaxy showdown unfold in spectacular detail. 
These galaxies aren't just tumbling together in chaos. Oh no, each one is moving at its own speed, heading in a slightly different direction, and sitting at a different stage of merging. Think of it like three dancers on the same stage, each performing a different routine, but all being pulled toward the same hypnotic beat. The gravitational grip of the central red quasar. And here's where it gets science spectacular. Using light signatures from ionized oxygen, researchers did something incredible. By analyzing shifts in that light, red shift for motion away from us, blue shift for motion toward us, they mapped out the movement and positioning of these galaxies with stunning precision. It's like creating a GPS map for galaxies 11 billion light years away. The result? A beautifully complex dance map that reveals not just where these galaxies are, but how they're interacting, pulling on one another, and being shaped by powerful cosmic forces. It's not chaos, it's choreography on a cosmic scale. This isn't just a galactic traffic jam. It's a blueprint of creation in action. These movements and mergers are how galaxy clusters are born. The trio we're witnessing is sitting in what scientists call a proto-cluster, a sort of galactic nursery. And it's the earliest one we've ever seen. This structure isn't just old, it's ancient. Likely one of the first mothers of large-scale structure in the universe. Even more jaw-dropping, at the heart of all this action lies a gravitational titan, a red quasar pulling everything together while multiple dark matter halos do the invisible heavy lifting behind the scenes. It's one of the most powerful cosmic construction sites ever caught on camera. And yet, the story doesn't end with colliding galaxies and glowing quasars. Because while all that visible action is captivating, the real backbone of this cosmic ballet lies in the invisible realm, a realm dominated by dark matter halos. These halos, though completely unseen, are like the scaffolding on which the entire universe hangs. Without them, Stars wouldn't form, galaxies wouldn't clump together, and black holes might never ignite into quasars in the first place. So, while the red quasar is dazzling us with its blazing light and chaotic winds, it's the dark matter lurking silently behind the scenes that's truly pulling the strings. In fact, simulations suggest that in this very system, there are at least two or three colossal dark matter halos, each tipping the scales at around 10, 10 three huge times the mass of our sun. That's not a galaxy. That's a galaxy cluster in the making. As these halos merge, they don't just influence the visible matter. They actively shape the future of every star, every planet, and every possibility that might emerge in this young corner of the cosmos. So, ultimately, what we're looking at isn't just a snapshot from the past. It's a live blueprint of the universe building itself, brick by invisible brick. And here's where things get truly mind-blowing. As those dark matter halos start to crash into each other, something incredible happens. They create a cosmic pressure cooker, a powerful central gravity well that acts like a black hole magnet. Right at that chaotic heart sits our red quasar, blazing like the eye of a galactic hurricane. But this quasar isn't just chilling inside one of those halos by accident. Nope, it's very likely the product of one a particularly dense halo region sucked in so much gas and matter that a supermassive black hole was born and boom, the monster began to feed. That feeding frenzy lit up the cosmos, creating the glowing red quasar we now see. Now picture the neighboring galaxies, not peacefully orbiting, but hurtling toward each other at staggering speeds. The whole region becomes a cosmic cauldron, bubbling with energy, collisions, and wild interactions. And it's not just dramatic, it's scientifically golden. 
This tangled web of galaxies might just be our next big breakthrough in understanding the most mysterious ingredient in the universe, dark matter. We know it's out there. It makes up about 85% of all matter, yet we've never seen it directly. It doesn't glow, it doesn't shine, but boy does it pull. In this galactic smash-up, we're seeing its fingerprints all over the place, in the movement of galaxies, in the twisted fabric of space, and in the bizarre structures taking shape. The trio of galaxies and their massive energy, their wild kinetic ballet, are offering up clues, not just about where dark matter is, but about how it interacts with the visible universe. This is next level stuff. And here's the kicker. Everything we thought we knew about what the universe looked like before galaxies like our Milky Way formed might be wrong. Before the Webb telescope started beaming back its insanely high-res images, scientists had a much simpler picture in their heads. But now, with this trio of merging galaxies in the spotlight, seen as they were just two billion years after the Big Bang, we've got a new front row seat to cosmic history being rewritten. These aren't your average galaxies. These are proto-galaxies, the rough drafts of galaxies to come. Made mostly of hydrogen and helium, they didn't yet have many stars. They were messy, cloudy, dark matter-drenched gas balls that hadn't figured themselves out yet. But throw in a quasar the size of a small universe, and suddenly, they're on the fast track. The immense pole of the black hole yanked them together like a cosmic magnet. And all that chaos? It started to take shape. Star formation went into overdrive. The gravitational pull of the dark matter halos added fuel to the fire. The result? Order from chaos. Think of it like this. These proto-galaxies were like clumsy dancers crashing into each other, until the music of gravity brought rhythm to their movements. They spun, merged, and began forming the kind of structure that would eventually lead to spiral arms, planetary systems, and maybe even life. Webb's imagery shows us something astonishing. Proto-galaxies often moved in packs, guided not by chance, but by the magnetic pull of something deeper, those hidden dark matter halos. Imagine a massive, invisible pothole in the fabric of space-time. Galaxies tumble into it, smash together, and, in the wreckage, form the first stars and galaxies. That's not science fiction, that's cosmic fact. And perhaps most wild of all, these dark matter halos might have been around before any visible matter even existed long before stars blinked on, maybe even just moments after the Big Bang. Which means the seeds of everything we are, our atoms, our planets, our lives, were planted in these invisible structures from the very beginning. Ready to get your brain warped? <laughs> the Webb Telescope just found an ancient cosmic party, a trio of quasars all hanging out in one structure. Hit play and join the universe's most lit squad before your neighbor's Wi-Fi steals all the bandwidth. <laughs>